bringing what feels like a main stage crowd with them. It's in this moment, everybody. <laughs> Guys, back on the road. Festival performance today here at Sacramento's Aftershock. How did it go down? Are you, are you stoked? We're alive, yes. That's what's matters. We're what's alive. Matters. Our hearts are on fire, and we've waited a long time to feel these feelings again. I, I've, I've said this to a couple of bands, but uh, the, your record, Mother, came out just as the pandemic hit. Mm. So does it feel like the record has finally come to life now that you're getting to play it with people, in front of people, and for you know, a dedicated throng like these people? <laughs> It does feel it. I mean, it, we did release it right in the beginning of COVID. We were scared. We were like, maybe we shouldn't. But then we were like, you know, we had to. And people need needed things to like get through it all or whatever. So, yes, it's it's amazing for it to come alive, especially the in between. That's the one that I think we're all most excited about it all. Yeah. I mean, it's. I feel like I've known you for like so long, and then just watching everything grow for and like grow so amazing. Like from like from the live show to you as a person, you guys as people, and the music in general is just so incredible to see. I always say, like, like you're like my mother. Like, you, I, I, I love everything you do. Like, we, we, I've, we've been friends for a long time. Yeah. I, you know, we talk puppies. We, we do talk, oh, we talk puppies, yeah. yes. Excellent. So it's like, the, 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 you guys are great, great people, and it shows in your music, it shows in your live show, it shows everything, and it's, it's just, it's great to see you guys just smashing all the time and just doing great, great things. We love, we love you, Josh. Yeah. Thank that, you that so much. That was my first time seeing you guys live today. It's oh, like, it is like literally one of the best live shows I've ever seen. Oh, we incredible. love you, Bob. It's, it's honestly an experience. Cr- like I've I've watched you guys like handle shit by yourselves from the be- like from from so long ago. Like I, I remember like talking like fog on stage. Like oh, you know how she was like. I want to turn this this fan this way, this one this way. Make sure still like, doing it. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Trying to get that perfect balance of where. Yeah, I get it. So it's like to just to see that and just like to see a full crew and to see a full production and to, to, to on a on a giant stage like this. It's like it's beautiful. I told I I told all the guys like I was like you're I well Jake doesn't really listen to this kind of music. Our producer Jake and Sports I was talk like radio kind of guy. Yeah. What? So it's yeah he's a fool. Um, <laughs> But we're, I was like, the, the the show that you're gonna love the most of the entire weekend is gonna be in this moment. And I was like, I, uh, I Jake. Ch- it was, and did Ch- Jake, Jake, can, can we, we get a thumbs up, Jake? It? It's like my new favorite band. Yeah. 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 Right, Jake. Yeah. There we go. I, like said, I said he needs to see you guys in a club in the dark. That's to what yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. Was it yes. weird playing during the day? Oh, like, it's so weird, it's right? So We're weird. all like... You guys are spooky kids. Hot. It fucking sucks during the day. It exactly. Doesn't matter. Yeah, That's yeah. why we like pump the, the fog extra. and we, yeah. we like to hide in the shadows and... We feel like we're in spotlights, you know, so the fog and all that stuff kind of helps out. But Dude, the intro to me was the coolest thing in the world coming out. When you come out like that in all white, it's the creepiest, coolest thing on planet Earth. <laughs> you're, a weir- you. you're a weirdo. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking amazing. I love, <laughs> I love the fact that the only other band that I've asked this question is Rammstein, which really says a lot about your live show. But when you're putting a, re- a rock show together, when you're putting a li- an album together, how much of the live show and the visual side of things is in your mind when you're putting that together? Because there's something about your live show, and Bobby's right to call it an experience. It's an it's, experience. It, every single tour, you come away with something ingrained in your mind. In, in fact, like I just moved to America and I got the chance to see you perform with Rob Halford at, Li- oh, at the Loudwire Awards. That was Awards so special. And things like that. When you're putting a record together, is, is it putting the live show together with it? Because it's so integral. It's so like unison the record and the live show yeah it is so we're always kind of having those thoughts in mind like why we're even doing the songs like imagining like and when we go into the album like create almost like a storyboard so it's like a whole feeling and colors and photos that like slowly bring it like when people are writing they can also feel it and stuff and we all work together and talk about each album is like a different vibe you know mm. and a different feeling so we try to bring it to life and I'm always thinking of what we could be doing live to it or like even in the studio still right and like stuff like that we're all like I love that brainstorming how to because it's a whole other element you know absolutely and I love for people to all of us love for people to feel like um, emotions from the visuals as well like even if you were to mute us we want you to be woed with the yes. visuals yeah. and to feel something with just the visuals. Then you combine the music and that, and it's an experience. And Such an experience. Performing and arts. And all of us are spooky kids, right? That's we, very yeah. true. The, the, the movies that we consume, the books we read, whatever. Do you find yourself, uh, is that true of yourself as well? Do you find yourself getting as inspired by movies, 
fashion, books, as you do anything musically as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, we all do. We all love... Horror movies. Yes. Wait, horror movies. So you like horror? Wait, so I, I'm, you like horror movies? I thought so you like rom-coms. What movies? <laughs> yeah. well, I do. Is there, is there I love them. Is there anything I love that's, everything. Is there anything that stood out in recent years when it comes to horror movies and, mu- and influences outside of the music? What do you mean, like... Um, Anything like, in particular from outside the music. Let's say uh, a movie that inspired a visual or a... Yeah, I mean, nothing that I can, like, pinpoint, but I'm so inspired by all kinds of, you know, different visuals and things like that. I'm always looking for inspiration, whether it's online or a movie or some performing arts or, like, Phantom of the Opera. I mean, everything yes. is just... Anything visual and that's moving, we're always looking for new things to express ourselves with and bring some sort of... Yeah, I love all of it. Uh, I'm awkward with talking. And we by the way. Are, <laughs> not, we're we're not going to tell you. Absolutely yeah. not. Listen, the thing is, like, I, I mean, I, that's why I love our channel as much as we do, is because we don't like. Uh, we we talk about music, but we like we just like to have conversations yeah, because yeah. because anybody can Google that you're putting out a new album. Anybody yeah. that can Google those things, so it's like it's it, it means a lot more that like that you're friends, so it's easier to talk and, and things like that, and talk about all things besides music because I feel like. We obviously we love music, everybody. Um, but our, a big thing is like we 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 want to we push our channel a lot to unsigned artists. It's a huge yeah. thing for us. I love it's, what you guys do. It's, you. it's oh, amazing. You. Yeah, you guys are killing it. To put, uh, you know, we had a band today that 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 uh, opened one of the stages that was one of our unsigned artists, and we so put special. them, you know, we to got put them signed. We, yeah, we got them signed and put them in front of hundreds of thousands of people and put all those people. So, it's I know you guys have you guys have. I've I've watched you guys hustle for so long. What is something that you can say to unsigned artists that are just starting out and going through that hustle and grind and, and you know getting trying to make a name of themselves and trying to be a person? Like, what do you what would you tell them? Um, I, I do love it. We used to a lot before the band was breaking. We all used to get together and watch Battle of for Ozfest. Remember oh, that yeah, show? Yeah. Oh, it's it's sick, kind of, yeah. Remember that? That's you, where I got the idea from. Yeah, and, you, this, yeah. and I love that you guys are kind of bringing that like excitement back and like, you know, because there's so many good bands out there that yeah. people don't know There's or no exist. platform anymore. Yeah, you know, we don't have a lot of those There is now. There is here. Right, exactly. So you guys are kind of filling something that's a really, like, it's exciting to see people that. And I think, what do you guys think? Um, my biggest thing is like, I'll say, you go first, Randy. I was just going to say, don't ever stop playing because I'm 51 years old. Still Love doing that. it. Stay Just well. play, 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 play. That's all you need to do. Love that. Yeah, I think art isn't defi- defined by age, and I think that it is what he just said. If you're passionate about it, love it. Don't stop. Don't do it for other people. Do it because it makes you feel alive, and it's what you're destined to do. And I think also finding something special about your art that is different from any of everyone else. There's something about you that makes you guys individual and it makes you special and but you can pinpoint what who that band is because there's something that really separates them. What do you what's your advice? I was basically gonna reiterate, yeah, I mean never put a cap on like if I don't make it by this point, yeah. that's it, I'm done and I'm moving sure. on to you know, selling houses. You yeah. just gotta Commit, believe, and push, man, and never stop. I mean, it's yeah. art, yeah, and it will happen. It is. You know stre- I mean? It's fucking stressful to be like oh, yeah. to be in a band these days. Even to be a big band, it's still stressful to be like, are we still cool? Are we still all right? <laughs> <laughs> do we matter? Do we matter? Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's so fucking sucks. But I love that. Like, I love the, the the way you guys take it. It's like each one of you guys are a character. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which is the smartest fucking thing. It's not like mm-hmm. you're yes, you're an amazing front woman. You're like the the biggest thing in the world. But you know, Randy and, and Travis and, and Chris and all of you guys and. I'm sorry, I don't... I'm Kent. Kent. Kent um, Dimmel. Kent. Um, are, you guys are all characters, so it makes as a full experience, not just, you know, you know you're not just a band. You're like, it's it's intelligently plotted out. Yeah. And I always tell bands that, I'm like, brand yourselves individually as and, and as an entity, it, it'll it'll be even even bigger. So yeah. it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so final question for me. I read a piece no in March that you were working on new music. And that was seven months ago now. So yeah. how, how, how is that progressing? And how has that progressed over that time? How, how deep into that process are we? It's just starting off, but it has begun. So began or begun? Begun, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, um, and we're, we're really excited to be creating again. But we just started, so we've only done yeah. like two songs. We haven't all like really okay, what are dug okay, into can, it. Can we, listen, can we listen to it? Huh. Yeah. Let's oh sure. Just play it on the <laughs> play it. We won't play it to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So, no one watches this show. Don't worry. <laughs> so I, I I have to ask always, and I'm so excited about the future, and it's only right, even though we're asking about new music, that you take Mother on the road to everyone. So what's next? What's next? I think 
the album is what's next. Yeah, probably taking a break after this and all figuring out an album and start creating a big new show for 2022 and bringing all that to life. And yeah, the yeah. next things. We've all been locked in for two years, so we don't want to take a bunch of time off and disappear. Of we already dis we all disappeared, right? <laughs> so we want to be back and we're ready to probably do it fast so we can be back out by the summer. That's what we love. Look forward to it in 2022 yeah. within this moment. Thank you guys. Thanks so much for taking the time.